uh happy late april fools <laughs> uh i'm guessing you weren't probably expecting this like i i got a comment asking oh you, your teb's gonna talk about a law beatdown character nope we're talking about tito dick dickman baby <laughs> all right so you're probably wondering, Heb, why are you talking about this moveset in 2024? Isn't, like, this guy did me? I'm like, what, what, what's up with this guy? <laughs> so, as you know, Law What If is very far in on the tier list. Um, it's not for a while, actually. But I, I got to thinking a little bit. Like, I, I wanted to do some for April Fools, but I didn't really have the time. I didn't really know how I wanted to do this video. But... I was talking with a, a friend, Cheesy, uh, and, and we were talking about Tito Dick, surprisingly. We were just talking about the movesets in general for his lol. And, you know, I always thought Tito Dick was like, you know, he's kind of like a mid-tier. He's not crazy. But Cheesy, surprisingly, thinks Tito Dick is really bad still. I was surprised by that. I thought he was, like, okay. So, I wanted to... It got me to thinking, like, well, what if I, like, started, you know, talking about specific law characters in, like, a new series? Like, something to, like, something small in between, like, the tier list videos. And I didn't really know how I wanted to talk tackle this video. I thought I would just go into, like, frame data and, like, competitive junk and all that stuff. And I realized that I'm not, like, I'm, like, I love law, but I'm not that qualified to get that deep. And I feel like if I started doing that, um, this would get really complicated really quickly. <laughs> so I want to do something small. I wanted something low key, and I was like, you know, what, what can I do? And I thought, you know, well, a good thing I could probably talk. About, but let's talk about like the character in general, like, as a whole. Like something, like, add something different to the discussion that talking about him in like a move set video would not. And I thought we could talk about this image right here. <laughs> so as we're talking about law nova right now and i think one of the, the things we, we all we all like to think about is law nova used to be really defensive and what is tito dick he's literally meant to be like a defensive character he's meant to be a tank and i always thought you know, he was okay i thought he he's not that bad he's he's fine she's also like one of the only characters in law what if because law what if never had a full update patch it got a singular, like, update video talking entirely about Tito Dick. And I think that's just always stuck in my head. <laughs> so I always just assume, oh, he's good now. He's fine. He's great. Um, well, I think the problems aren't just the fact that, you know, Tito Dick has gotten those changes. It's more so, what does Cheesy make? You gotta, like, take a step back for a second and re-look at the lol itself. So... And I'm gonna, I'm gonna like bring up one giant character right here. And we're talking about actual sloth. <laughs> so, like, this is like obviously this isn't every single character in Law Whatever. This is like an older video, but I think just looking at this video as a whole just tells you like one giant problem. This law is really, really good at making some crazy ideas for move sets. And that kind of, like, backfires on Tito really hard. Once you start, like, Tito's a very early moveset. I think he's literally, like, the second or the third. I forget at this point. He came before Larry. And what did Cheesy make after this character? <laughs> he made, well, Actual Sloth was probably the biggest one. And what does Actual Sloth do? Actual Sloth is, he is a Sloth, as it says <laughs> right here. And he's this tiny little guy. He's this tiny little dude. This tiny hitbox. Is... What is Tito supposed to do about this? This is literally like the like this encapsulates everything wrong with Tito as a whole. He is a defensive character in a lull with better defensive characters. Like what like let's go over like what does Tito have? Like he has the he has a shine. This is one of the things I that always made me think he was great. He literally has a, like a reflector that g got buffed to be like frame four, and it covers his full body. It's, it's a little. It's like fr it's like whatever. And he has you know the funny dong snatcher, which 
He goes in an arc and it, it's a tether now. Like that's another like cool recovery tool he has. But look at this. Look at this. That's not hitting him. That's not hitting this this better defensive character. And then you also have to keep in mind, even if it's like a cool tether move, this is a lull with Kaminashi Nozomi and Nori Aizawa, these really fast characters that can just get in on Tito Dick whenever they want. And this also, another thing about Inori is like it, projectiles. Like, I, I thought Tito was fine, but like, you have characters that can just spam like attacks like this. That that home, or even like Starbomb Link, where he can just like buff his projectiles and keep going out and just. He doesn't have to worry about, like, a reflector because he can just keep shooting them out. The only thing that Tito really has is, like, a projectile to clash with this is the funny Tito Dick Dickman movies, which also got buffed in speed. But, you know, <sighs> come on. It's okay. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, like, where is it? He cheesy didn't touch these other moves. He's a heavyweight champ. <laughs> He's a heavyweight champ. He'll surely survive long. The problem is he he can't do anything. Like none of his other moves were like ever touched. So, and the problem with like the Tito Dick Dickman maybe is that he can only have one out at a time. Like, this move is kind of okay, because, like, it, it kind of implies that the second they move, they'll trip and move onto the ground, which is, like, that's kind of nice. But, like, only one at a time. That means the second he sends it out, and, uh, and like, he's basically out of a projectile at that point. He can't do anything. And he can't clash at all with anything. Like, let me, like, check this out again real quick. Also, like, you know... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's just, like, take again. Obviously, some of these attacks were kind of, like, buffed in range. Like, eh, it's not crazy. It's not great either. But, like... Like, look at this. <laughs> what is that? That that's his like side tilt. That's not hitting actual slot. And it's like even if the speed was buffed, do you think that's going to compete with this? <laughs> oh my god! Like it's this this idea that like even though he was clearly made to be a tank, Cheesy's really good at making these really compact movesets later. They have these like. Really, so many strong options, and Tito Dick wasn't made with this in mind. He, he there was clearly like an idea, like oh he's meant to be a tank. He has like some cool stuff. He got some buffs. He's he's great. He's fine. But the, I think t what makes Tito Dick is like he's good. Maybe he's a fine. I think he's fine in like other laws, but like. Cheesy has set such a high standards for his moves that they're all very high concept. And Tito is not that anymore. <laughs> and it's funny because like I used to really think this character was good. Like he's got like he has a he's a he has a tether, he has a healing move. His recovery even has like I even thought it was like just fully super armored. But it's not actually. It is not it's only super armor. And when he's whipping out the sword, that means like he literally, whenever he's like moving already, like he can be clashed anything. I mean, like there are so many characters that can just con contest that with a projectile. If I, I always just remembered this move being fully super armored because you know that just seems right for the limitations and like the movement it has. If this move was fully super armored, maybe he would be better. But, like, there's nothing he can, like, he can be out with this. Like, I even thought that maybe, like, if, you know, uh, Yeet Sayori would, like, short hop B, he couldn't, like, attack with this. 
and like basically it would be like a really strong kill option at like high percents. He he can't even box with Inori. Like the Dong Snatcher could maybe like get through her range, but yeah, no, no. This like Tito Dick is definitely like a character of the past. <laughs> For a defensive character, he's not really that great anymore. <laughs> that being said, again, as I said already, I feel like he's a good analysis of, like, you know, how you can make a defensive character and how, as your law progresses over time, it really needs those update patches to keep those older characters, like, buffed up. Otherwise, like, as you get better and more experienced and comfortable with your ideas those older characters will quickly become outpaced because yeah, like especially if they were simpler ideas like this i even think like simpler characters like a star bomb link are probably i used to think they were like he was probably worse than tuna dick i thought tuna dick would beat him but like this shows that even if you have a reflector even if he got buffed to have good frame data, maybe. Even if he has a tether recovery. Like, he's... There's still very clear problems. And they're... in like... Yeah. It's weird. Like, I always thought this character was good. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, like... I don't know. Maybe, maybe you'll gain something from listening to this. I didn't really have a script for talking about this, obviously. This is, like, kind of, like, just me... A little short thing where I just kind of shoot the shit and just talk about random wall characters and stuff. I'm probably going to do more of these because they're very, they're not meant to be like super crazy in depth videos. I just want to talk a little bit. <laughs> uh, hopefully, you enjoyed it. I will hopefully have the part two of the Law Nova tier list done soonish. I've had, I actually have a lot more to say about it now. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that's it for now. You have some a wonderful Tito Dick day. <laughs> See ya. Bye bye.